Hey there, welcome. I want to start by sharing a quick story. Imagine waking up one day feeling on top of the world, bursting with energy and ideas. But then, just a few days later, you find yourself unable to get out of bed, overwhelmed by sadness and fatigue. This is what living with bipolar disorder can be like. Bipolar disorder is a mental health condition characterized by extreme mood swings, including emotional highs known as mania or hypomania, and lows, which we call depression. In this video, we're here to inform you about bipolar disorder and hopefully reduce some of the stigma around mental health issues. All right, let's dive into the different types of bipolar disorder. First, we have bipolar one disorder. This type is marked by manic episodes that last at least seven days or are so severe that hospitalization is needed. Next up is bipolar two disorder. This involves a pattern of depressive episodes and hypomanic episodes, but it doesn't include the full-blown manic episodes we see in bipolar one. Lastly, there's cyclothymic disorder. This is a milder form, characterized by periods of hypomanic symptoms and depressive symptoms lasting for at least two years or one year in children and adolescents. Now let's talk about the symptoms. During manic or hypomanic episodes, you might experience increased energy, a reduced need for sleep, racing thoughts, and impulsive behaviors. On the flip side, depressive symptoms can include feelings of sadness or hopelessness, a loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. These symptoms can significantly impact daily life, but understanding them is the first step toward managing them. Moving on to the causes and risk factors. While the exact cause of bipolar disorder remains unknown, it likely involves a combination of genetics, brain structure, and environmental factors. Risk factors can include a family history of bipolar disorder, high levels of stress, and major life changes. It's essential to be aware of these factors, as they can help in understanding and managing the condition better. All right, so let's talk about how bipolar disorder is diagnosed. It's not something that can be determined with a simple test. Instead, it involves a thorough clinical evaluation. This means that a mental health professional will discuss your symptoms in detail, looking at both your current state and your history. They'll ask about your mood swings, energy levels, and any changes in your behavior. It's really important to be open and honest during this process, as it helps the professional get a clear picture of what you're experiencing. Consulting a mental health professional is crucial. They have the expertise to differentiate bipolar disorder from other conditions that might have similar symptoms. So if you or someone you know is experiencing these kinds of symptoms, don't hesitate to seek professional help. It's a vital step towards getting the right diagnosis and ultimately the right treatment. Treatment options for bipolar disorder are diverse and can be tailored to each individual's needs. Medications play a crucial role. These include mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, and antidepressants. Therapy is another vital component, with cognitive behavioral therapy, psychotherapy, and support groups offering significant benefits. Lifestyle changes are equally important, emphasizing the need for a consistent routine, adequate sleep, a balanced diet, and regular exercise. It's essential to remember that treatment is highly individualized and may require adjustments over time to find the most effective approach. Living with bipolar disorder can be challenging, but there are strategies to help manage it effectively. Maintaining a mood chart can be a valuable tool for tracking symptoms and identifying patterns. Having a strong support system of family, friends, or support groups can provide much needed encouragement and understanding. Practicing self-care is also crucial, whether it's through mindfulness, hobbies, or simply taking time to relax. Hearing from individuals who live with bipolar disorder can offer personal insights and inspire hope. Mental health awareness is more important than ever. 
Unfortunately, the stigma surrounding mental health issues can prevent people from seeking the help they need. Open conversations about mental health can break down these barriers and foster a more supportive environment. We encourage viewers to seek help if they're struggling and to support others who may be going through tough times. Everyone deserves compassion and understanding. To wrap up, we've covered the various treatment options for bipolar disorder, tips for living with the condition, and the importance of mental health awareness. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it to spread awareness. For those in need of support, there are resources available such as hotlines and websites dedicated to mental health assistance. Thank you for watching.